All right, hey everyone. Uh, today I am back with another comparison between big picture mode and the deck UI when it comes to doing various things relating to controller configuration. Uh, today we're going to be looking at multi button bindings. Uh, I'm using No Man's Sky to kind of demonstrate this because it's the game that I play that has the most like inventories and skip the most number of multi button bindings. Uh, we're going to be using B down here as the example. But uh, I did want to say that the reason why I'm using a mouse for these tests uh, is because I game at my desktop. And I really want to highlight that even when you're using like the best input method for desktop user interface navigating, the deck UI is still kind of bad for that compared to the big picture mode UI. Um, and the other reason is it's a little bit more fair to the deck UI. I had a comment on the past video uh, with just adding a long press where the number of clicks, the click gap between big picture mode and the deck uh, for just adding a long press activator grew to like 15 clicks as opposed to just two additional clicks. It was like 15 extra clicks if you're to do like D-pad navigation and count all of the D-pad clicks. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just using mouse for those two reasons, just to show that it doesn't really matter what interface you're using. It, what matters more is kind of the context you're using it in. Um, big picture mode is considered a 10 foot user interface and the deck UI is basically a tablet interface and neither of them are desktop interface. So anyway, that's why I'm using the mouse. Um, but anyway, let's uh, get into multi button bindings. And what this is, it's different than the extra command from or the add new activator uh, from before. Uh, this is when you press B, all of those will happen at the same time uh, with the same settings, etc. So how you set up a multi-button binding in big picture mode is different compared to how you set it up in the deck binding. In the deck binding, you'll see it's called a submenus, or not submenus, it's called a uh, subcommands. So I'm, I'm still getting used to that. So. Anyway, uh, we're kind of going to do it in reverse for this video. Last video, I did deck UI first, then big picture mode, and I did adding and removing. And this one, we're going to start with big picture mode, and we're going to start with removing. So the way you do that with the mouse. Oh, by the way, I, I do want to say I'm going to go ahead and like zoom in all the way just to this as well, just to give the deck interface the best possible kind of... Uh, light it can possibly get. I'm not going to worry about having to navigate from the landing page. It's just straight from this, you know, removing this and then adding them right back. Ju just that interaction with the mouse. So we'd click on it and we'd hit remove. Two clicks and done. And uh, just for consistency's sake, if you're doing it with the controller, one click, two click, it's the same. So I'm go ahead and add that back. So two clicks to remove all of them. No big deal. So how do we add them all back? So we click once, well, we click A for once to get into this. Then at the bottom, you see a toggle multi-button on. Um, let me kind of get this back. All right, let's not count that anyway. So one, two, so now multi-button is on. And now again, I'm gonna use the mouse. It would be two just to activate it as well. I'll show you that as well. One, two. So now I'm gonna use the mouse from here just to kind of show. So the three that were there was mode select cancel, three button clicks, back, four button clicks, and exit menu, five button clicks. Now after this, I do have to hit back or B on the controller for six total button clicks. Two to remove, six to uh, add. Um, it will be more to add if you're using controller navigation, but again, I'm trying to do like the best possible light, the smallest possible numbers. So. Two to remove, six to add. From here, let's go ahead and back out of the game. That way I can get into the deck user interface and we can examine it there. All right, here's the deck user interface landing page. Again, we're not gonna count this part of it. Go to edit layout. And you can already see that instead of it being all in one line, it's broken down into three lines. And that means when it comes to removing them, 
you can already tell it's going to be a very involved process. Now, if you were doing this with the mouse, it would be one, two, three, four. It would be four button presses to remove it entirely, which would then be eight there. And then uh, you can't remove it entirely, but it would be like uh, 10 total to remove. But if you were to use a uh, gamepad, just real quick, again, let's not worry about navigating to it. Let's just worry about the actual action. It would be you could hit the gear or you could hit X to remove commands and then X to delete sub command. So that's two button presses. Uh, so let's kind of use the best possible and say that it was four total, two for exit menu and two for back. So that would be four. And then when it comes to mode select cancel, again, let's not worry about navigating. Let's go to, just go to remove command. That would be five, five total remove. That's still three extra compared to big picture mode. And of course you can't de delete it there. Um, you have to have it uh, be there even if there's nothing bound um, just for the UI purposes. But yeah, so five to remove at a minimum compared to two to remove in big picture mode. How do we add them all back? This is where things get kind of crazy because it, it, it just, uh, it grows exponentially because you can see here, you know, there's four as opposed to three on B. Um, but let's go ahead and add the first one back, which is mode select cancel. That would be one, two. Two button presses to do it on a mouse. I do want to see real quick what, what it would be. One, two. Again, I'm not going to worry about the navigation part of it, even though it would start up here, right? Hold on a second. I would start up there, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So like eight total to add it with controller navigation, but we're doing mouse. So let's just assume two to add the first one. How do we add the next ones? Well, you have to click on the gear icon and go add subcommand. And then add subcommand again. So that's already four button presses that we're in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten button presses to add them all back in the deck user interface compared to the six to add them back in the big picture mode interface. That's four extra. And if you'll notice, if I wanted to add even more, each additional one that I want to add is one, two, three, four each additional one that I want to add. I don't actually want this though. So let's remove it, which is even more frustrating to do because you can't just one, one remove it. But um, yeah, so every time you want to add another one, it's four button presses. Meanwhile, you may have noticed in the big picture interface, after you click multi button on, each additional one you want to add is just a single button press. So to do multi button bindings in the deck UI, the amount of clicks needed expands or it grows exponentially compared to big picture mode. And you can see in a big config like No Man's Sky where it's using multi-button bindings everywhere, that could get very, very tedious indeed. Um, now, I do want to mention one other thing before closing out this video. Um, that There was this idea on the Discord that I saw that one potential benefit of the deck user interface doing it this way is that when it comes to the cycle binding uh, option uh, or the cycle commands option, when it comes to that, there was this idea that the deck UI would be better because like, let's say I wanted, because what the, what the cycle command does is instead of firing all of these at once, this will happen the first time you press it. This will happen the second time you press it. This will happen the third time you press it. And then it loops back around. Um, that's what that does. And the idea was that this is better because you could, for instance, put mode select cancel back. And then you would have two instances of mode select cancel uh, in this string for cycle binding. But, and people thought that originally you couldn't do that in big picture mode. Um, actually, let me go ahead and, and uh, let's go ahead and back out of this and I'll show you in big picture mode. You actually can. 
sorry about that. You actually can add multiple instances of the same binding in big picture mode as well. Um, you just have to enable cycle binding first, and then you're right back to the whole, each additional button is just one button press as before. So no matter which way you cut it, the big picture mode user interface is better uh, for multi-button. And um, let me go ahead and get back in game just to show you that real quick. It's kind of silly that I have to get in game to use one user interface of the, of, over the other. It should just be an option that's available, but hey, whatever, what, what do I know? So let's get in game real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open the configuration. And if I were to say on the bumper, cycle binding's already on. Uh, sorry, because I was uh, testing it earlier. But now I do this, hit toggle multi-button on. And then press all of these. And you'll notice that there's multiple of each. So you can do multiple bindings like that. Or, or multiple instances of the same button in big picture mode, you just have to turn cycle binding on first and then turn on multi-button. So anyway, let me remove this. And this the original binding was next page and let me turn this back off. So there you go. That's today's example of how the deck user interface is way more tedious to use compared to big picture mode interface. Thanks, bye.